Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nesha and we are playing Dishonored 2. And so between episodes I actually came up with a very semi-evil plan here. If you remember the guys that were sitting around the room and there was one girl sitting down and two guards standing around a room in the saloon area and we had a patrol one there. So I thought Oh, how should I deal with those guys? Uh, I have some magic abilities and so on, but then I kind of remember an, a different way we can probably do this. I haven't checked out the area of effect of the chloroform, but that sounds like a very promising plan to uh, throw down some chloroform on top of them. That would put them to sleep and it would also answer one of the questions I can remember about the Dishonored game. Do the other guys wake up guy if they find a guy that is knocked out? Do they wake them up or not? I, I'm not sure about this. Uh, I remember in the earliest history of the game it was kind of fun, funny talking about chloroform. You also had it here and you kind of had uh, different uh, doses of chloroform and you went behind your enemy and you strangled him out and, and the longer you hold your button the more doses you apply to your victim and the longer they stay asleep. But if you just applied like one dose of chloroform they waked up in like four minutes and you have stolen their clothes and it was running around here. And uh, that was the kind of moment I wish uh, you had some hallucinogenic uh, drugs so nobody would have thought they was totally crazy or anything. But yeah, it kind of cramps your style when you're infiltrating in place and uh, there are the guards around, uh, run around na half naked and telling their friends that they've been infiltrated. And uh, yeah. So, here are the guards I'm talking about. They, they are in a very, very nice cluster here. So, I think this method will be a, will be a very... I don't like to talk. But. So, yeah, we had a patrolling guard over there. The thing is, will they wake up everyone? But how many can I knock out? How effective is the chloroform? We don't know. It's an unknown quantity. And it actually looks like we have two more guards, one guard here too. So this will just affect these three if uh, the area of effect is generous here. I'm just thinking about the perfect time to apply this. If I apply it right now, this guy would probably be attracted by the noise and he will turn around and he will and see he's in an alerted state because of the unexpected noise. He will probably spot me from here. Which um, leads to that it's probably better to stand over here. I'm, I'm just, just, just kind of worried that I will hit the lamp here. It's hard to throw things in a three-dimensional space. Uh, we have even more people here. Okay, so let's let's do a quick save and a quick look around. I think this is the best spot to stand on and see what's happened. What? What? Wait, that's what's going on here? What? There? I just need to make sure. Oh, you ready? Oh, he saw me. So, two of five. So let's go here, stand over here for a while. They will probably run, if they are uh, uh, using their pathfinding, will probably run up here. Uh, hopefully, it will, will just be meeting one of the guards here. That will make things a lot easier if we're gonna knock them out. I'm not sure if they can do all the pathfinding here. After all, this is inside here, but yeah. I'm not sure about it. But we can also answer the question, will they be knocked out at least? I hope that I will get all three. I didn't have that lock. I can probably reload it, but it works a lot better than I expected. Maybe we can abuse it a little bit more. Uh, let's go dark vision, see here if someone is coming to check out it here. It looks like they was confused as... Uh, I think the pathfinding got confused about this railing over here because we stand inside the railing, so we was kind of inside the room, but not, not inside the room, so they didn't have a straight path. Buddy, don't make me search the whole place. I saw I you. Time for that. So they didn't have a full path all the way here, but let's see here. If they have run in the right direction, uh, direction, it should be under us here. I think the railing screwed up their pathfinding. Yeah. So.
So I'm, I'm abused the system because yeah, it's really hard to do pathfinding because they can't climb the railing, so there is no point for them to try to go there. So that's kind of good uh, behavior, but yeah. So what I'm looking for now <laughs> is more chloroform because that was highly effective because I only have one sleeping bolt and. Um, but also this will give some time for our guards to calm down a bit. So yes, I'm abusing them, I'm letting them see me, Is I'm no ghost here, but I didn't pro Yeah, it's stealthy for the most of the time. Yeah, I don't have to explain myself. I'm trying out things. After all, I'm not doing a walkthrough for ghost stuff. Uh, it's quite easy to ghost things if you just ignore everything that is not essential for your playthrough. Ghosting a playthrough is not that super hard. The hard thing is ghosting and then doing everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of here in the between. So let's see. So let's see. It doesn't look like they have waken up their friends. However, there is a problem over here that I didn't... Uh, think about. There is actually a guy inside here. It's, I'm not seeing so well. So a chloroform is my ranged knockout tool. It doesn't look like the guy that was in the room has yet come back uh, to his normal place. So he's still probably in surf, search mode. You have to remember I am playing in Donda hardest possible difficulty on everything so they probably search for people for a very long time so an easier difficulty is they will probably uh, already been tired of searching for me and gone back and forgotten that i've existed uh, so yeah it would be very evil if the game actually actually remembered that i was infiltrated and was in on a high alert all the time i don't think most people would uh, enjoy that kind of game mechanic a restroom. The good thing about the restroom is that is most restroom has only one door, so it means if he goes inside here, he's completely alone in that room and nobody else can see me. So yeah, that's how I applied logic uh, for that. But I'm not sure which way he is facing. It doesn't look like. But our room is uh, safely over there. I can probably grab it. I'm gonna be just being a, a little bit... There we have two guards. You can see how... One of the things also you have to remember when you, you spook the guards, they are on a stupid patrol, and that is kinda just... It starts every time at the same place, and so when you screw, up, screw them up, it will mean that they will cluster together. Uh, but because they will have different start times on their patrols, so yes, I'm overanalyzing here. Let's see if we can get him. Huh. Nobody saw me. Nobody saw me, but as soon as this guy, uh, guy <laughs> wakes up here, he will probably be spooked about it. It's funny thing is that after a while they will ignore their friends sleeping there uh, on the floor. So he's going over there. I know there is another guard there, so maybe I should go grab him. It's a risky move, but I think if I run, I, I can I, I can do the escapes. I can do the escape if needed. As I saw, it was a restroom, so usually there is only one way in. That's why I took that risk, because it was a the risk because I was actually no. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's see. I think we, we are in a, a lot better shape here in this room. I don't think we have a lot of more. I think we have one more guard uh, that is active here. We take it slowly and carefully. There is a lot of things that are blocking their view, so... Let's check this room out. 
I think we have taken care of everyone here. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. I like this suspension of, yeah. I like the suspense we have here going because we are not sure if there is one more guard. I'm starting to suspect there is no more active guards in this room. We have him there over there. Let's check this place out. So we have a large area here with a, a solitary guard. He's guarding the solitary destitute of this <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit poetic here okay so not now it's turning that way so at least the next time he starts to walk in in the other direction we will be able to pick him up here if we got some dark vision going here uh, I think we are just dealing with these two guys here it looks like a normal civilian she might be somewhere close. they should have let me take the vice overseer Duke's a coward. Oh, she. She's active over there. Man, she's freaky, freaking me out. So we got that guard. Oh, suspense, suspense. There is really no good areas for me to hide him, uh, so I think the best, most likely place they will find him will be over here. Uh, so, let's see. Let's go back here. And I think we will be having one civilian to deal with here. I saw him mixing something or polishing something. I don't like if the crown killer will go loose over this area. That is a situation I will love to avoid. Yeah, she's over there. Yeah, she seems still in her little area, so... So we have a, a couple of civilians here. We have some pipes we can use. So let's use them for us to get some vantage point here so we can see where to go. And I think that this will be no... Uh, challenge to take out these guys as they are busy working with stuff so it's interesting how quietly we drop down here is nobody hearing you here what i can knock her out for some reason i can do anything This is probably a bug, and she's actively working on that, I can do that, but this point, we don't need to knock her out, actually. Okay, so let's get some brown vision. It's all a fuss. Well, whatever it is, I got more important things to worry about. Hmm. Interesting. We could pick pocket to them and go. I think it's a bartender or something. I could drop on the top of him and smash him down, but that will probably make unnecessary noise. So if I just go backwards here, okay, it's now I think we need to time it. Got some coins out of that. Let's put it up here. Interesting. I didn't know this area existed. We have something over there that looks promising. Let's just check this area before. There is so much stuff and you uh, actually don't need a lot of stuff. If you're playing uh, lethally, you kind of always have to uh, have a race against resources, but if you don't play lethally, there is really no race against resources. Looks like a storage area with a vent you can use. Interesting, it looks like we have an opening in here. 
can go outside here if we want to. That's interesting. Uh, let's get our heart out. Do we have anything left? We have something in this e e a bone charm. Lock bone charm. Will it always show them? I think we want to pick that up. Uh, before we take care of the crown killer, because uh, this is kind of the end of the level. I'm not sure if we usually have to escape and stuff, but I, I'm not sure uh, if it will just end here. So we, we have a newspaper to read. Uh, it's funny. I say everything I think, but I think it's more interesting that way because you, you see how I reason inside a stealth game and I would say, say that I'm quite proficient in stealth games and maybe it's helping someone and, and, and yeah, it's the slowest playthrough too. So, the silver spike. As the blood fly concern gets worse, we are all waiting for a miracle cure. The question is, how many more have to dig in agony? Andermeyer's solution is good for the miners' woes. Enriched, it is being used to treat blood fly fever with some success. And Dr. Alexandria Hapafia, uh, when will I mean not stop means proud in that world, has started publicly that she will improve the formula. So where is the cure? What has happened? Let me tell you, Duke Luca Bellis shuttered the Andermine Institute with Hapavia inside. She's a prisoner. There is only one explanation for this. It's quite plain that this is a precious remedy. It's not available to anyone but the Duke and his circle of rich cronies. It's my opinion that they intend to whittle down the impoverished and, and manual few. The Duke drinks copious amount of Hapafia's cure while the rest of us perish. Oh yes. This is as it always is. It was a tough time. They always take all the things uh, you need for the poor people. Sorry, it wasn't me. It was just a rat. Uh, okay, so let's get a good brown vision. I haven't managed my mana pool very well, so yeah, I'm trying to better myself doing your stuff. So let's get out of here because I don't, I don't think. What's that? That rectangle over here. It's see us the blackboard. I thought maybe it was a, uh, some kind of elevator, you know, a kitchen elevator. That has been a thing in an earlier Dishonor game. We can use it. So, this area is cleared. Our bone charm is in that direction. Let's see if we can go. As I knocked that guy out. So, what's over here? Just an empty room. So, interesting stuff. Our bone charm is in that direction. I think it's better to approach that one from a vantage point. So, if we uh, go back, I think it will be easier for us. Actually, oh no, now I used the mana again. Now I wasted mana. Yeah, I wanted to go up there and then go up a floor. But that... Yeah, so let's uh, swing around here so we get to do the vantage point. It's always easier because that area is definitely not cleared by me. So, can we somehow sneak out this way or do we have to go even higher? I could break the window, but that will make an unnecessary... Uh, it's better to run here. I'm not sure if uh, this is a part of the stealth mechanic that uh, this carpet makes less sound than the floor in the fifth game. This is definitely so, but I'm not sure about this honor, so... It doesn't really matter. Can we go out here? Doesn't seem like... But we can go out like this. 
I, I must give good credit, uh, Dishonored has fantastic level design. You're always going up and down, exploring everywhere. So a bone charm is quite over here, so this was the correct way to go anyway. So... It looks like to be jammed under the rubble the, over the air. So let's get a better look. We have a red guard. Yeah, this is jammed inside a table. I think that should be fairly easy to easy to get. Or otherwise I will have a fairly easy time to outrun everyone uh, and still survive if they spot me. It's just a quite a big drop. We have some health elixir over there too. I'm not sure about the area. Looks kind of clear in this direction. This this look like area where they have and is glass in that direction. That means if someone is inside here, they will be able to spot me. I think I could get it. Yeah, so he's standing over there. So if I time this correctly, I can then go up there, go all the way up that way. So if I go that way, but that depends on how guarded that way is, which I have no knowledge about. Okay. It's dark there, which is a good thing. And over there, there seems to be more light, which makes me very, very visible in this difficulty manner here, but it seems like these is our, are the only concerns there, so if I drop here at the pillar, I can probably sneak over there, blink over there, blink, 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 all the way. That's a high risk maneuver, so I will actually quick save. So. Okay, let's see. Let's this go. Get mana back. It's not laundry day yet. Gotta be soon. I can't stand my own stench. Keep my mind. Okay, they saw me for a moment here. It just take them about oh, a small right second to uh, a <laughs> small second to see me, but I got the rune charm. I probably, I think I just alerted them, uh, they didn't really saw me, so I'm fine. It took me some mana, but it was definitely worth it. So I think it's time to deal with the crown killer. We got everything in this level, finally. Uh, so I'm not sure how, how to deal with the crown killer. Uh, we have all the stuff, we have our extra large syringe, so... Uh, uh, which can jam it into the neck or something. So, vascus based serum mixed with infected blood, resulting in a pont potent antidote for Dr. Apathia's condition. I wonder who that was. I wonder who it was. It was me. Okay. We have clear this area so we can run. I think it's just about to get behind her, and we will probably get a nice cutscene where we jam that thing into her neck, or something like that. She's on the floor below us, which I prefer. And she's highly dangerous, we have testing out her might, she's... So, I just think I have to strangle her, just wait. As we have observed her before, we kinda know... Kinda know what she will do. She will stand over there, and I think that is the good, uh, good, good spot to get her here. So we have to just patiently wait her out, jab that thing into her neck, profit, and she... So I will drink my tea. She has a predictable route, but yeah, she's... I'm not uh, uh, sure how sensitive she is. 
uh, to sound and stuff. I think all guests, she is quite sensitive, but it doesn't seem it's like we make a lot of sound if we drop down. It doesn't, it just seems there that we, even though the sound makes a sound in the game, it doesn't seem to make a real sound in, for the AI. So go over there, mess with your stuff there. You used to mess with that thing there, you really like to play around with that, but that has probably changed. Otherwise we have to just predict her route and get behind her, that's probably the option I will go for, so yes. I think she has a sporadic pathfinding here. She is actually not a patrol, I think she is just randomly pathfinding her way through the room here. That would be a good moment if it was behind her, but... So I'm waiting patiently for our time here, and I think the... I got it now. Yes. Oh no no! Not back to sleep! <laughs> okay, I got her. I took her in the shoulder. I won't give it back! Okay, so she's no longer dangerous. Or maybe not. So let's talk with her. Dr. Hypatia? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No. Someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. Cool. So she's joining our merry band of uh, pirates in our boat. So, Hap. Oh, I already forgot how to pronounce her name. I was thinking, yeah, now I finally know an uh, English person has actually said uh, how you pronounce that. So we need to uh, get out of here. We should be fairly familiar with uh, this, this level now. Okay, so... I need to go over there. I think it, if I remember correctly, there was a... Oh, nice. Exactly what I needed. Um, we, yeah, it is a way out here, so yes, there we... As I predicted a couple of episodes ago, so we need to get through. The thing is, I think our nice little boat cannot arrive while the watchtower is active. However, this opens up a very good opportunity to abuse the chloroform, because a lab without chloroform, it seems to be a very... Uh, very, very usual ingredient in this game here. So if I can get that, I can get a free knockout and they running all the way up to this lab to get me. It's highly unlikely, so yes. And of course there is no chloroform here. Idiot. It's just radium balls. Where is the chloroform when you need it? Okay. Okay, you could probably. I think it was not some game. I yeah, in Thief I abused the bottles. I just throw used them. Uh, if you throw them completely on the head of your enemies, they knock them out. So yeah, I was doing that all the time in that game. Uh, here, however, I have to be using chloroform, and it's probably boring to see me. Oh, man. There is no chloroform as long as uh, I haven't seen any chloroform, so that plan uh, didn't work out. Didn't work. That's a shame. Could probably use flask to pull them away, however. Uh, but it will not be that helpful. Oh, more. Oh, sorry. Finally, I am on a, on a surplus of mana here. I like to stay because sometimes you really need it. Okay, so no chloroform here, so I wasted all my time here. How about here? Radiant bottles, radiant bottles, no. But as a. I'm hungry. 
So, it's just these two guys here. I could probably blow the shit out of them by just blowing up that thing down, but that will not be a very non-lethal solution. I think we will have to wait to escape this level until the next episode. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>